The Sims 4 21st anniversary is coming up this week. Will we get a repeat of the 20th anniversary hot tub fiasco? Or will it be something that people applaud for? Before I go ahead and get started, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation info videos, as well as now apparently Sims 5 speculation and also, of course, pair lives. And the question for today is, what would you like? for the anniversary and what do you expect for the anniversary? I expect there's going to be some pretty angry comments so this should be interesting. So we're going to go right into it and I'm going to pull up some people's opinions, speculation and ideas about this upcoming anniversary and then I'll give you my own personal speculation what I actually think will happen versus what I would really like to happen. So I actually came up with this video idea because I was just on Twitter like I often am on Twitter way too much probably and I found this thread by someone called Chip the Dancer. As promised, the second reminder, in 10 days, this was of course on January 26, it will be the 21st anniversary of The Sims. Hope there will be some posts and news going out on February 4th. And basically, they've just been posting every day about the anniversary, potentially, you know, tagging The Sims and hoping that they would pay attention and not forget the anniversary. So they actually also did do some polls. Now granted, there weren't very many respondents for these polls, but I love polls, so I thought I would include them. Here is some examples of what would you hate the most? So things that people really don't want. Coming in at number one is they do not want a Gru interview for the anniversary, followed by they don't want another damn Sims for sale, and then tied for the last places, as in things that they wouldn't mind as much, is a single item or sparked TV or challenge. Now for me personally, I'm a nerd and also I have a news and commentary channel, so I actually always welcome Guru interviews, so that's probably something I would selfishly really like. They can be infuriating or they can be insightful, depending. But I will say I don't want it to be solely just an interview for the anniversary. As far as a damn Sims 4 sale, I think that's kind of inevitable. But, you know, I guess you don't have to participate if you don't want to. Moving on from that, they actually asked for things that people would want to see. And coming in at number one, for some reason, was the Sims 5 announcement. Trust me, guys, I get it. I've talked about this again and again. I know a lot of people feel like the Sims 4 is over, welcome to stay, and they would like to just look forward to something new. But I would be very concerned if they announced Sims 5 because they are actually still actively hiring for people, if that really even is Sims 5. And I feel like it would be a little bit soon to announce for that. Following up, though, that was a remaster of Sims 1 and Sims 2, followed by Sims 1 and Sims 2 on Origin, and then finally a new spin-off game, which I agree, I do not want a spin-off game right now unless it was absolutely fantastic. Now, as far as remastering Sims 1 and Sims 2, I'm not going to lie, I would add Sims 3 in there as well because I love Sims 3, but I'm currently unable to play because... Long story short, they were supposed to do an update for newer MacBook computers, and it didn't work, as far as I know. And honestly, even PC players would like to see an update. Now, as far as other people's wants, this person wanted some iconic items from past games, and they showed the hot tub and the bed from Sims 1. Now, I think it would be kind of funny if they actually gave us the hot tub from Sims 1 at this point because of what happened last year, but I do think some people would enjoy it. Of course, some people weren't so thrilled with that idea. Don't encourage them to give us another hot tub. Someone else pointed out what I thought was a really better idea, which they said, they need to give us a free pack with iconic items from the previous game's ASAP. Now, I don't know that they would do a full free pack, but I think they could give us some free items from the past games. So having a couple iconic items from each game, so Sims 1, Sims 2, and Sims 3, would be a really great way to celebrate and honestly probably would have been a better way to celebrate the 20th anniversary. Someone else of course mentioned that they would love to see Sims 1 on Origin. Again, I think it would be great to put all those games on Origin. And then a while back, Plumbella mentioned the 21st anniversary. Apparently Plumbella was thinking about the 21st anniversary back in December and they said, I want to be at a point where diverse isn't seen as a reward, and instead it's just a norm, it makes sense. I don't want, we've been working so hard, here's autism for Sims in the 21st anniversary. I want proper representation for everyone from the get-go. So if they are working on a potential Sims 5, I hope they keep that in mind, and I do agree. I don't think that all diversity ever should be put behind a paywall. I think it should be prioritized so people can just basically make themselves. 
And I would like to see some more options with that as well. We'll talk about that in a moment though. And then finally, there was someone on my channel where there was actually, I was having some speculation on my channel recently in case you missed it, about the possibility of a romance pack coming to The Sims 4. And so they said that they would love to see an attraction system or something like that come with the update. And they also mentioned the possibility of an overhaul or updates to existing packs. So here are my personal thoughts. My personal thoughts are that the most likely thing to happen for the anniversary would be that we would get a single item and we'd have a Sims for sale and then probably a few giveaways passed up by the Sim Gurus and the Sims teams. There's also the faint possibility that they'll completely ignore the anniversary. Those are my two top things that I think could happen. On a way less likely note, but a possibility, is we could get a one big item update. So it could be something like babies or cars. I feel like that's always a possibility, but again, I don't think it's the most likely in any way. In my case, I have a couple things I do wish for. So what I would like to see for 21st anniversary, number one, fix those daggone skin tones, both for console and PC, really as best as they can, because this has been going on for so long, and I think regardless of the anniversary, that should happen. Another thing I would love to see are just some general bug fixes and glitches so that people can generally run their game fairly well, and I think right now we're not really currently at that state. For a bigger ass, I would love to see an attraction system introduced. I would love to see more relationship types. I'm not going to go over my entire wish list for fixing The Sims 4, but something single like that that would really make a dynamic impact on Sims personalities, interactions, or gameplay for an anniversary update, I would so love. Now, of course, I would also love to see other Sims games placed on Origin and also a, just a revamping of the old Sims games. I feel like so many people would play those. And honestly, I don't know why they do it because I feel like they would actually make some decent money on it. However, it's probably because it's probably a lot of work to do, number one. And number two, they want people to keep investing in The Sims 4. And let's be honest, there's a possibility if someone plays some of the old Sims games, they might not be playing The Sims 4 quite as much. So those are my thoughts for the anniversary. Again, what I think is most likely is something rather small. Definitely think there will be sales and giveaways because why wouldn't there be? And I do think we're gonna get at least one single item, but as far as bigger asks, they're just things that I would like. I don't think it's likely. I don't think we're gonna get a big base game update. If we get a big base game update this year, which I sure, sure hope we do, because we know Sims 4 really needs it, I think it's going to be right before an expansion pack. So maybe right before, say, June, if they have an expansion pack or somewhere around there, I think we might get a bigger base game update that improves some things. But again, they typically do that right before a pack, so I'm not expecting big fixes for the 21st anniversary. Although I would argue that just fixing the skin tones and taking care of some bugs and glitches really isn't a big fix, and I would like that far more than another hot tub. So on the note, I will let you go. Definitely be sure to check out my friend Hip Hip Renee's merch store. I'm just plugging her. She did not ask me to plug her, but this is the perfect time because as you can see, she made a t-shirt about the hot tub fiasco last year. And honestly, even if you don't want to buy it, just go check out her channel because she is hilarious. She's a great person. I am biased because she's my friend. But I really do recommend you go check her out. She does builds. And she also does a series called, actually I can't even remember. Oh yeah, A Brief History. And they are true crime mysteries. And she does the builds for them. And she's, she's just awesome what she does. Anyway, plug aside. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the upcoming anniversary. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.